out of eyes trying to put me Alright guys, so welcome back to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the effect you guys saw in the intro. It's not too complicated, so uh, let's get right into it. So before we, I actually uh, start recording, I synced up the clip and added slow-mo. So let me just show you what I have so far. Alright, so that's what I have. There's no effects or anything. So to do the effect, you want to find the first frame where you see the shot hit. So that would be right there. Then you want to press Control B on your keyboard to split the clip. Then you want to go want to go back as many frames as you want the effect to start. So maybe like, right here, I think would be good. And then again, Control B. So you have this clip in the middle. Now while selecting this clip, hold Alt and drag up, so you get a duplicate clip. What happened here? Let me try again. Alt and drag up. There we go. So then you want to press D on your keyboard, disable the top clip, and right here in the Open Effects tab, you see Gaussian Blur, just drag it onto the clip on the bottom. And you want to go to Open Effects, maybe make it a little bit more blur. Yeah, that's fine. Now this is another thing you want to add. Drag this up, like one layer, and add this overlay. You don't need to use it. I just think that it looks cool. Uh, I'll link it in the description so you guys can use it, or you can just look up Snowflake Overlay, it'll work as well. So now you want to undisable the top clip and go into Fusion. Now when you're on the first keyframe, make sure you're on the first keyframe, then you want to press Shift Space and type in Rectangle. I already have it selected, so Rectangle. And now you want to keyframe the height and the width. And then you're going to want to do is make the angle like this, because when you saw in the intro it was curved. It was an angle, so maybe like that then you want to bring the height down to zero and then you want to bring the width all the way like this and the height back down to zero so it's like this and then you want to go 10 keyframes to the right so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 actually I'm going to do 5 more 11 12 13 14 15 select the height again and drag it up to maybe like this to 0 0.354 then you're going to want to go another 10 ish actually I'm going to make it a little bit bigger like that then you want to go another like 10 ish keyframes to the right again so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 actually I'm going to do a few more 11 12 13 keyframe again and then bring it up just a tiny bit like this maybe then you want to go to the very very last keyframe so right there this last keyframe and you wanna select this right here and just go boom like like that so 2.9 it doesn't really matter what it is just make it so it covers the full screen so this is what we have so far and it goes like that so as you can see it doesn't look as good as in the intro because it's not curved. So to add a little curve you guys saw, you want to do shift space and S underscore warp. Uh, where is it? Fisheye. Right there. Add. It lagged a little bit. Hold on. It added in the wrong spot, which is odd. You want to like that. And have it right here. So now you want to change the amount. Oops, I'm sorry, it's lagging. A little bit like that. So, yeah, like maybe a little bit, like maybe 0 0.1 would be good. I'm using 0 0.12, I think that looks pretty nice. So that all that adds is a little, uh, that little, like, uh, curve you see. So here's what it looks like. Boom. All right. Then you want to do, you want to again shift space, then type in S underscore drop shadow, add, and shift X and shift Y, you want to bring them both down to zero. Oops, didn't go to zero, zero. And you want to mess around with the shadow opacity and shadow blur. So, like this maybe, I think that looks good. So then this is what we have so far. So it kind of looks like this. Yes, I, I Okay, 
Okay, I kind of I'm gonna mess around with it a little bit more. So you want to go to rectangle? I think I'm gonna make the angle a little bit like steeper, like this. And then on the last frame, I'm gonna make it even bigger, like that. So it really jumps out. That's what it looks like. Hold on, it's really laggy, so. I wanted it to be a little bit more sudden, so I'm gonna go back right here maybe. Uh, I'm gonna do this, bring it up to like 0 0.3 and get rid of this keyframe right here. So let's see this how this looks. Right, hold on. Put it back. pretty good so now just to make it a little bit cooler you don't have to do this step you want to press shift space s underscore q sap right right there add it in and then you just you can make it a different color you don't have to do this i just think it looks pretty cool so like right there maybe so that's gonna be it yeah that's really it thanks for watching comment down below what you guys like to see a tutorial on next and i'm out of here peace